Have you ever picked up a console and thought to yourself, what is the absolute worst game for this thing? No? Oh. Well, I did, and today, I'd like to check out some terrible PSP games with you. So, I got a Metacritic, scrolled all the way down, oh, 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 let me click on that, scrolled all the way down, and picked some of the worst games for you guys. Street Supremacy. We start with a street racing game. I actually love this genre. My first game ever was Need for Speed Underground, so I had high hopes for this one. Well, you start like most racing games by choosing your own car, of which there are actually quite a few. After a bit of customizing and um, registration, we're off to our first race in the Shiba Park. Here we're meeting our rival racer that gives us a little pep talk like he's in a Fast and Furious movie. I no, I I don't want I don't want anything. Can, can you go? You're making me very uncomfortable. Please leave. Please leave. And after flying start, we're off. In Street Supremacy, the goal of each race is to get as far away as you can from your opponent. If the bar of your opponent is depleted, you win. And here's the game's biggest weakness, because the cars control, like, their boats. Big boats. Everything just feels so slow and sluggish. It's it's almost boring. It will be a shame to build the entire game around racing when the racing feels terrible. Oops, uh, for comparison, I got one of my favorite PSP games. That's Ridge Racer. It's Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. Remember that one? All right, so let me uh, let me go right ahead. I'll just let the footage speak for itself. Yeah, I mean, Rich Racer is a drifting game, but it just feels so much smoother, faster, more exciting, more fun. And that's what it's pretty much about. It's about having fun uh, in a game, because then you wouldn't want to play that game. But this is what this game lacks a lot of. It's fun, because it's so bland and, and boring. Nothing seems exciting. It's just, it just feels plasticky, if that makes sense. This is the subscribe button. And because 96% of you guys are not subscribed to me yet, you need to hit it. You need to hit that button hard. Or otherwise, um, uh... You need to hit it. Ape Academy. This game got very mixed reviews, so I was very curious how it actually performs. Well, Ape Academy is a minigame collection, much like WarioWare. Uh, actually, a lot like WarioWare. In the beginning, we're met with one of our teachers. That shows us how to become a real monkey, because uh, that's what this whole academy is all about. And then we're off to the minigames. I don't know if it's just my emulator. I mean, totally real PSP, of course. But the explanation for the games just zoom spy before I can even read them. I actually like the minigames a lot. They're, they're, they're quite entertaining. Such as this soccer game where you have to score more goals with some tricky shots. Or this air hockey game. Or counting the amount of apes that walk by the screen. Which I got wrong. Of course they're not all fun. Some get boring really fast after the first time. Which is the game's biggest flaw. With each new teacher in class, the games just repeat themselves a lot. It's just more difficult. I bet many people see that as a challenge, but I don't want to play the third round of skydiving and collecting parachutes. It's just fun for the first time, and after that it just gets tedious. My personal favorite is the yellow monkey. There's just something about him. Listen here, boys and girls. I'm your new teacher, Yellow Monkey. I know you're going to just love my class. So overall, it's a very fun game, actually. I can understand why people like it, but it's just a little too repetitive for my taste. 
air conflict world war ii i seriously don't know where to begin with this game is just plain terrible it feels made by lazy people if you look in the dictionary air conflict world war ii would be under boring i mean just just look at the title screen damn plane it's just flying in circles nothing's happening in, in super mario bros 1 there was more happening in the title screen and you know what this screen is more than just accurate that's what you're doing for the entire time of this game the missions are so exciting like fly from point a to point b or destroy enemy planes that are almost no threat to you or bomb the tanks and trains below you what you failed that mission because you crashed into a tree because the hitboxes of the trees are terrible who cares here's the next mission it's not like they differ a lot anyways the game just looks so crusty and unfinished i mean at least the controls aren't too bad it's no wonder this game was almost at the bottom of the list if you want to play a plane game on the psp i highly advise playing ace combat x uh, it's also a namco game like rich racer but this is so much better with a story and it feels a bit more realistic it's it's just overall a better game than than this Oh wow, you made it to the end of the video. Well, thank you at first for watching and thank you guys so much for almost 300 subscribers. Just a month ago, I didn't even have 100 and now I'm even at triple that. So thank you so much. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you do and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.